and welcome back to Vitality. Today's video, we're doing another dope or no on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer 2016 collection. So I recently just purchased a collection so that way I could do a little review. I haven't really tried any of these products out yet, but I will be swatching them and you guys will be seeing like my first impressions of them and what I think about them and all that fun stuff. So yeah, before we get into this video, if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe right here. That way you get notified for future videos. I post a ton, so make sure to subscribe for those. And now let's just go ahead and get on into this dope or nope. All right, so first off, we're gonna show this collection is the new Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I was so excited when I saw these. I actually saw a trend mood post on Instagram of a picture saying that some of the Macy stores actually got this early and I was like oh I wish my Macy's had this but I'm so excited. I have one of the other glow kits and I'm obsessed with it. I can't remember the name of that one. I think it's that glow. If it's not, then I will have it pop up right here with the correct name, but I'm obsessed. I have talked about that one so many times in my favorites videos. So when I saw that she was coming out with a new one, I was like, oh, I gotta get my hands on this. So this retails for $40, but I love it. So first off, this is what the packaging looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. You just open it up and you have four pans of highlighters in there. They're so pretty. I also really like these pans because they're not glued in. You just take a like a tweezer and just pop them out. They're magnets in there. So it's not hard to get out at all. I took mine out and put it in a Z palette, but look at these. So pretty. Oh my God. Okay. Let's start swatching. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be swatching is bronzed right here. And this seems like it just would be like a really, ooh, ooh, check that out. That is a really pretty kind of like penny bronze shade right there. That would be really gorgeous as like a bronzer topper. Ooh. I love the consistencies of these highlighters. They're way better than the other ones that she had like in the little compacts. Those ones are okay, but these are amazing. Like she got the formulation down and this color is absolutely stunning. This is gonna be so gorgeous for the summertime if you want just like that really pretty glow. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be swatching is called Summer. And this one is just a really pretty kind of like a white highlighter, but with a yellow undertone to it. It's Gorgeous, like that one is gonna go so well with fair skin tones. I'm I'm so excited for that one, that one's gorgeous. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna be swatching is called Tourmaline, and this one is so unique. Like I've never seen anything like this. So it's definitely a taupe shade, but it has a gorgeous like rose gold finish to it. That one's stunning. I've never seen anything like Tourmaline. I cannot wait to use this as a blush topper. Like if you really want that like glowy like makeup look gonna be so pretty and I love that it's more on the cooler side it's not warm you guys know I love my cool tone products so I'm so excited for tourmaline that is so unique all right so the last one that I have here is called moonstone and this one is a really gorgeous like champagne shade that has like a pinky undertone to it you can see it's on the cooler side and summer right here is more on the warmer side it's not like too warm but it definitely is on the warmer side if you compare the two because this one has a pink undertone this one has a yellow undertone right there but absolutely stunning. I'm super excited for this because I honestly think this is like the perfect like go-to like summer highlighter kit. Ugh, there's so much in here. You have like a shimmery bronze like topper or bronze shade if you want to use it as a, as a bronzer. And then you also have two gorgeous highlights that you could put on top of the cheekbones and you have a really pretty blush topper in tourmaline, which is so unique and so different than anything I've ever seen. So if this is a dope or a nope, I have to say that it is a dope. All right, so next up, Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a little set of lip glosses. You get a total of six lip glosses in here and this retails for $28. I highly, highly recommend her lip glosses. I've talked about them so much on my channel. I even have swatch videos of the lip glosses as well if you guys want to check those out, but they are amazing. They smell really good. They're very pigmented. You don't even need like anything underneath them. They're that pigmented and they're not sticky and they just feel amazing on the lip. So I definitely recommend the lip glosses. So let's go ahead and start swatching these. Oh my God, they're not going to make it easy for me to get this out of the packaging. I have to use tweezers. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be swatching is called Saint Tropez, and I can already tell this one is going to be stunning. All right, so, oh, they smell so good. But as you can see, I'm just swatching them right now. I'm trying to make a bigger swatch so you can pick it up on the camera. Ooh, that is like sad ways. Let's make this a little bit better. I am like horrible at swatches, but check that out right there. 
absolutely stunning. It is a gorgeous like iridescent rose gold. Oh, I'm loving the shade. This is so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to wear you. And also, oh, they smell like the Lip Smackers in vanilla. Smell so good, so good. Love it. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be swatching is called Blushing and ooh, this is a really gorgeous soft pink right here. Check that out. It's a gorgeous soft pink that has more of a warmer tone to it. Again, another gorgeous shade for that summertime just to give you that really bright, fresh makeup look. <sighs> my arm smells so good right now. Oh my goodness. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna be swatching is called Grape Jelly. And just by looking at this in the tube, it's reminding me a lot of Madison, like the liquid lipstick. I love it that it's like named Madison, that's so awesome. But yeah, ooh, oh my goodness. It's definitely like a grape jelly. It's really gorgeous. It's a really pretty kind of like magenta shade that has a blue undertone to it. So it's kind of like a blue purple shade. Super pretty, absolutely love that. That is so, oh my goodness. Look at just how creamy they are. They're so creamy and they're not sticky at all. They're my favorite lip glosses on the market. All right, so the next shade I'm gonna be swatching is called Toffee. And this is more on like the nude side, it looks like. It's a really pretty warm brown. Check that out. So pretty. Ooh, I like that one. Definitely perfect for every day. All right, so the next shade I'm swatching is called Caramel. Yeah. I say caramel, caramel. No, there's like a caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> All right, so this one. Ooh, I like this one. It's a really pretty like pinky brown. It's definitely a little bit more on the warmer side, but look at how gorgeous that one is. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like it. I got like a swatch tattoo going on my arm right now. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, we have Tango here. So we're gonna be swatching this. This looks like another really pretty shade. Ooh, this is a pretty berry shade. Check that out. All these shades are just like, this is perfect. This is just like the essentials for summertime because I'm sorry, but I love wearing like lip glosses in the summer because I feel like they're so much more youthful looking and fresh and just like really nice on the lips and refreshing on the lips. I feel like if you wear like a matte lipstick when it's like super, super hot outside, you're just gonna feel like, Oh, you're just gonna feel gross. So yeah, definitely a perfect little set for summertime. I highly recommend this set. This is awesome. They have like a little bit of everything. You've got your nudes, you've got your like more vibrant colors. And also what I really love to do is I like to make lip cocktails. So if I really wanna tone down like one of the brighter shades, I'll mix a lighter shade with it. Another one that would be really pretty to mix with a bunch of them is Saint Tropez because it's got that like rose gold finish to it that it will give that finish to these two if you mix it in with it. So yeah, highly recommend making lip cocktails you guys you can always kind of like make your own shade which is awesome so if I had to choose this little lip gloss set for being a dope or a nope I definitely have to say dope I'm loving it this is like perfect okay so next up I have our new eyeshadow palette and this is the modern renaissance palette this is actually going to be a permanent eyeshadow palette so it's not limited edition also you guys I forgot to mention those lip glosses they are limited edition so definitely go get your hands on them you can get them at I'm pretty sure you can get them at Ulta Sephora now Macy's AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com you can get them at a ton of different places but this eyeshadow again is going to be permanent and it retails for $42 which is insane because I just did the review on the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette for the eyeshadow palettes and theirs was $40 for five shades. You get a lot more than five shades in here. <laughs> All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really pretty soft like velvet like packaging, really nice. <gasps> I just put my finger in that one, dang it. All right, well, this is what the eyeshadows look like. You could see that little dent right there, right there, yeah. That was me, just put my finger in that. Dang it, and that's a pretty shade too right there. So this is what it looks like. They look definitely more on the warmer side. Like there's a lot of like, there's a mix. There's definitely some cool tone eyeshadows in here, but there's a lot of warm tone, which is okay. I love the cooler tone ones. I'm already really looking at Buon, 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 don't know. Buon Fresco, that one looks really pretty. It's that gorgeous like mauve purple right there. So yeah, I'm really excited to do a look with this. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. 
I haven't been that impressed with the past ones, to be honest. I just, I don't know why I just never gravitate to them, but let's go ahead and swatch a few. I will also have like an overlay swatch of every single shade that you guys will be seeing up close to. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch a few of them so that way you guys can see them, but I will also have a like up close swatches of all the shades with the names next to it as like an overlay in this video. But just for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Primavera, which is a really pretty champagne shimmer shade. That one's pretty. It's definitely very subtle. It's not that pigmented. I wish there was definitely a little bit more pigmentation there. We're gonna go to a light transition shade. So I'm gonna use that Juan Fresco or however you say that name, I don't know. So I'm gonna use that one. Ooh, this one's like a really pretty like grayish purple. It's a little bit patchy, but it's not too bad. You just have to blend it and it'll be fine but that one's pretty. I really like that one for a transition shade. Now we're gonna go for a little bit more of a darker shade and we're gonna go for red ochre. Oh my God, look at that one. That one swatched beautifully. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's like a really pretty red brown shade. I like it, That that's pretty right there. All right, so I'm gonna swatch another shimmer shade and this is Vermeer. I think it's Vermeer, I don't know. But it's this one's more on the pinker shimmer side more on the pinker shimmer side. It's more of a pinky shimmer. So that's what that one looks like. Again, very subtle. So those are pretty. I'm really excited to play with these by first glance of them and swatching them. They look like they're gonna be good. I can't wait. Let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial on this palette or a get ready with me or anything like that. I'll be more than happy to do one, but these are actually really pretty shades because what I love about it is that you can definitely use this side to go for more like a natural, like everyday makeup look. And then to move it to the nighttime, you can go over here and just add it to deepen up the creases and turn a day look to a night look, which is awesome. So it's like an all in one palette. So I really do like the shades in this palette. I think they are gorgeous and they are just so stunning. So I am so excited to play more with this. So for my first impressions with it and swatching a few of the colors I definitely have to say that it is a dope all right so last but not least I don't know if this came out in the summer 2016 collection but when I ordered these this also was with it saying that this was brand new I'm not sure but this is only $18 and this is the waterproof gel eyeliner in dark side so this is what the packaging looks like it's just your like you know average gel eyeliner packaging it's in the shade dark side but it's basically a black eyeliner i am still on the hunt for like the perfect waterline like eyeliner that stays all day the one that i've been liking though so far is the mark jacobs I'm not sure what shade the Marc Jacobs one is or which one it is. I will have a link down below if you guys are curious, but I've been loving that one for the waterline. And I'm interested in trying this one out for the waterline. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. It's really creamy. It's a really pretty like black matte eyeliner and it's very creamy. I like it. Ooh. I really, really like this one so far. So I'm really interested to try this one out in my waterline to see, but also you guys like look at it's not really moving. You have to like really scrub. I'm excited because it's waterproof. So it's going to sit in that waterline really good. It would also be really good if you want to use it for tight lining. Like especially if you don't want to wear any eyeliner or you're going to the pool, but you just want to look like a little bit more fuller on that lash line. And it definitely has to like scrub it to get it off. So that stuff is not going anywhere. I'm excited. So first impressions of the eyeliner, definitely a dope because it does not move. All right, so that is everything from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer 2016 collection. I know this was more of like a first impressions because I really haven't had time to play with it yet, but first impressions, I definitely think the whole collection is a huge dope. Like this is really, really good. I'm super excited for it. I love the lip glosses, highly recommend those. The palette has some really gorgeous shades in there and by swatching it, they look really good too. So I'm excited for those. The waterproof gel eyeliner, oh my goodness, I am excited to put that to the test. That would be awesome. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this dope or nope review on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills collection, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.